talked a lot about air sealing and how important it is, and today I'd like to focus in on one area that causes a lot of trouble, and that's recessed lighting. Recessed lights, also called can lights, or high hats or eyeballs, come in a variety of shapes and styles, uh, different trims, etc. They're mounted up in a ceiling. They have a very clean, flush profile to them. So they look great. The challenge is the way these are installed in your ceiling, they create huge bypasses for air, allowing warm air to escape up out of your house in the, the winter. And if you have pressure imbalances or wind, actually allowing either cold air to get into your attic or warm air from your attic to get down into the house in the summer. You don't want any of that. What we like to do, uh, we go in, we use a blower door to help find the air leaks in a home. We pressurize the house and we'll go around to all the, the recessed lights and try to evaluate how much of an issue this is. Um, when we have the blower door on depressurizing the house, if we use our hand or a smoke stick, we, we will actually feel or see air movement c coming in, rushing in around these lights into your home through your attic or your ceiling space. A after we do the, the blower door and our inspection inside the house, we also like to pop up into the attic. Uh, that will also give us a lot of clues. Sometimes you can see the lights, you, you can actually see light from below leaking up into your attic. Of course, that means there's openings between the attic and your house. A very good sign is dirty insulation around not just recessed lights, but any hole. Dirty insulation, as you see here, is a sign that a lot of air from your house is leaking up through the holes into the attic, and it's actually being filtered or cleaned by the insulation before it escapes outside. You, you're essentially using your attic as an air filter to clean the air that's leaving your house. After we've identified the problems, we send our crews up. They pull back any insulation if it's there already. Uh, they will seal around the, the fixture. Now, this is something that homeowners can do themselves, but you have to be very careful. There's different types of lighting fixtures, and you need to know what it is. Uh, some, some fixtures cannot have any insulation contacting them. Otherwise, they risk overheating and causing a fire. Others are called insulation contact or IC rated. These can actually have insulation in contact with them. In existing homes, we find a lot of uh, very leaky, non-IC rated fixtures. That means we can't have insulation in contact. We like to build a box around the fixture, air seal that box to the ceiling plane, uh, this provides an airspace around the fixture. It's airtight, so air won't leak through it. And now it gives us an opportunity to come back and insulate right up to that box, over the box, giving yourself a nice, even blanket of insulation in your attic. When you're thinking about uh, recessed can lights, there's another energy opportunity to think about. Uh, most recessed lighting was originally uh, installed as incandescent or halogen. Uh, these are very energy inefficient. They generate a lot of heat. Um, in the summer, you can think of these recessed lights as actually mini heaters all throughout your house. These lights are heating your house. Your air conditioner turns on to cool the house, and essentially the two are battling each other. This wastes an enormous amount of electricity. First, the lights themselves are an inefficient way to light your home. They create excess heat, and now your air conditioner has to remove that heat. Where we have an appropriate solution, replace those incandescent or halogen bulbs with either compact fluorescent or there are now uh, pretty nice LED recessed fixtures available. Don't go buy the cheap ones at the uh, big box store. You want the right fixture to give you the right light, um, fully dimmable. And of course, anytime you alter your home, whether it be adding an addition or replacing windows, or in this case, air sealing around recessed can lights, it's important to test out, check the combustion safety of any appliances you may have from a furnace to a hot water heater, etc., to make sure that they are venting properly. After we impact the dynamics of airflow in a house, uh, things change and it really is important to have a qualified contractor or your utility, a professional who knows what they're doing, check out these appliances. Recessed lighting can be a really good design choice and it can make a lot of sense in your home. If you pay attention to the details, choose the right efficient lights, 
and make sure you air seal around the fixtures so you're not losing energy unnecessarily. If you've got an existing home with recessed lighting, there are some great solutions to retrofit that lighting so it works well for you.